pressure, pressure. So, ex Fireman Dave slides back down to a thousand pounds. It does mean it's time to meet Kate Brown from Chester Street in County Durham. Kate Brown is a development manager for a charity which raises money for community projects. Uh, Kate studied geography at university. She loves nothing better than travelling the globe. In fact, she thinks she'll still be backpacking when she's 80. Up in the audience is her mummy, Maggie, looking very proud, uh, who has found it rather difficult to keep it to herself that Kate is on the show, even though she was sworn to secrecy. She's told just about everybody in County Durham. <laughs> Twelve questions, the first seven against the clock, four brand new lifelines. Right, 15 seconds for the first two questions, Kate, lots of luck. Let's play Brand New, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> so, question number one will be for £500. Here it comes. A good-looking person is sometimes referred to as I want something. Okay, now you have to win 
bucks a month, and you've got 5,000 bucks. Whatever happens, don't lose it, okay? Be brave, but don't be too brave. You've got 5,000 pounds. You can double your money here. You've still got all three lifelines untouched. You've got 30 seconds. Here's the question. Which of these is an ice cream dessert? Here they come. Tortilla, tortellini, tortoni, tornados. Um, I think it's tortoni. I don't know what a tornado is, though, so... Um, can I go 50-50, please? You can. Stop the clock. Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Kate the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Restart the clock. I'm going to go with Tortoni, final answer. You ever had one? No. Well, how are you so sure then? I knew the other ones weren't. Hopefully. It's <laughs> the right answer, you've got £10,000. <laughs> They're flavoured with spirits and topped with melons. I already had a couple of ice creams on the side. You have ten grand. You are two away from fifty thousand. You still got a phone, a friend. You can still ask the audience. Question number six is for twenty thousand pounds. Kate, I will warn you: if you gave me a wrong answer at this point, you would lose nine thousand pounds. Question number six: you can double your money. Twenty thousand pounds. You won't lose. Which tennis player won the men's singles title at the 2010 Australian Open? 30 seconds. Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Andy Murray, Novak and Djokovic. It was Murray, 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 Murray Federer final and I'm, I'm pretty sure I just know that Federer won. there on a keypad. Mum, who wanted to be on this show? She thinks the answer is Rafael Nadal. Oh, dear. Don't be embarrassed, Mummy. Everybody's looking at you. I can't tell you, Roger Federer is the right answer. You can tell you. Federer beat Murray in the final. Uh, Murray beat Nadal, your mummy's choice on the way up. Right, it's going down to the wire at this moment. Kate Brown has £20,000. She is one away from £50,000. she will have one more question against the clock. She has two lifelines. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Kate Brown is currently on a rather impressive £20,000. She has so far only used one lifeline to get there. Question number seven is for £50,000. You have got two lifelines. You can use both lifelines if you need them and still walk away with the money. OK, right, you've got 30 seconds. Here comes the question. The comedy drama Rock and Chips was a prequel to which TV sitcom? Four answers, here they come. Only Fools and Horses, Last of the Summer Wine, One Foot in the Grave, Birds of a Feather. I know it, it's Only Fools and Horses. Um, I didn't watch it, but it's Only Fools and Horses, final answer. Are you sure? Yes. But are you really, really sure? Yes. You know you've lost 19 grand. Smugness about your cake now, isn't there? Good okay. girl. You've just won.
extra lifeline. You have five questions between you and a million pounds. If a question comes up you don't like, you can switch it. I hope the question is easier. Question number eight is for £75,000. You can ask the audience, you can phone a friend, you can switch. If you don't like the question, here it comes. In the modernised version of the board game Cluedo, which character is a billionaire video game designer? Diane White, Jacob Green, Eleanor Peacock, Victor Plum. And I want to say to you, take as long as you like. Well, I haven't got a clue. I don't actually think any of my phone friends would know that. I really don't. I'm not sure. I, I, I've just never heard of it. I don't think it's that well known, so... I think I would quite like to switch questions. Okay. Just out of interest, which one would you have gone for? Um, Jacob Green. If you said Jacob Green, uh, you would have wasted your switch lifeline because the right answer is Victor. <laughs> so, we want to ditch it, now we can switch it. Which country's main airport was renamed in honor of Mother Teresa in 2002? Bulgaria, Albania, Austria, Romania. Mm. We didn't like the last one. I don't love this one. <laughs> um, I don't know. You've got two lifelines. For some reason, Albania and Romania are kind of sticking out a bit more. Um, I'm trying to think whether to ask the audience or phone a friend. I think my phone a friend might know that, but um, is that a waste? Can I ask the audience, please? Uh, yes, of course you can. Right, audience, serious business. This is for £75,000. Here's the question. Which country's main airport was renamed in honour of Mother Teresa in 2002? Now A on your keypads is Bulgaria, B Albania, C Austria, D Romania, A, B, C or D, all vote now. Seven percent say Bulgaria, thirty-six percent say Albania, thirteen percent say Austria, forty-four percent say Romania. Now, what do you do? You've got fifty thousand. It's worth seventy-five. You can still phone a friend. I don't know whether I could do with the two. Or wasn't a thought. I'd be choosing just randomly between the two. Um, if I phone a friend. Anything by answering. Well, you guarantee 50 grand. Is it a waste to phone a friend to? You're going to say to me, I'm saving phone a friend for later. No, I'm not. I'm going to phone a friend. Are you not? Please. No. Uh, okay, right. Well, let's have a look. You've got three phone oh. friends. We've got Dave. He seems to be praying for you. Uh, we've got Barbara. We've got Alan. I would like to choose Alan. Okay, what's he do? Um, he's a friend of the family. Phone Alan. Do you want me to tell him it's worth seventy-five thousand pounds? No. You don't. No. I think it might spook him. Yes. Okay. Quite well. Hello. Alan. Hi there. Hi, Chris Tarrant. How are you? Not too bad. Nice to hear from you. Well, now serious business, Al. Uh, I've got Katie, as you know. She's doing okay. She's stuck on one particular question. She thinks you might well know the answer, and you'll be her best friend for the rest of your life. I hope so. <laughs> All right, Macy. So the next voice will be Kate's. Okay. She'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. It's the one we need. She'll have just thirty seconds. Okay. Okay. Right, Kate. Fingers crossed. Your time starts now. Hi, Evan. Which country? Which country's main airport was renamed in honour of Mother Teresa in two thousand and two? Bulgaria, Albania, Austria, or Romania? Give me the question again. And um, which country's main airport was renamed in honour of Mother Teresa in 2002? We've got 10 seconds left. I think it's more likely to be Albania because that's where she was born. But I'm not absolutely certain about that. Give me the countries again. 
Oh, there's no time, but thank you. Okay. Ooh, okay. what do you do? I am going to go with Alan. I haven't got anything to lose, so I'm going to go with I the final answer. Not Romania, which the majority of this audience thought. The largest percentage of the audience thought, anyway. And you kind of thought it was Romania. Yeah, I wasn't sure. <laughs> you just won seventy-five thousand pounds. And welcome to the new look, high speed, high risk. Who wants to be a millionaire? Life changing sums are now won or lost against the relentless ticking of our big, bad, evil clock. If our contestants hang on in there, though, and reach £50,000, they own a brand new lifeline and they have all the time they need to get to the million pound mark. Someone who's already well on her way back again from last time is Kate Brown from Chesterler Street in County Durham. Well, you were a bit of a bag of nerves last time. Yes, yes. What's your plan? What's your strategy? Um, if I don't 100% know it, I'm just taking the money. Get out of here like a yeah. bunny with 75 grand. I've been told that's, <laughs> that's the strategy. No, I'm, I'm not going to take any chances. OK, well, let's see what happens. When the klaxon called time at the end of the last show, Kate had already soared to £75,000, but it had cost her all her lifelines. Can she go any further? Will she want to go any further? We're about to find out. Kate, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right. It's question number nine. Have a look. Tell me what you want to do. What is the meaning of Algarve, the name of the Portuguese tourist region? Sun Coast. Big Sea. The West. Sandy Shore. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> um, I thought maybe one of the options might mean something to me, you know, part of the word or... Oh God. One of those is worth £150,000. I wish I knew, but I just... I don't. See if you'd get your life lines. I know. <laughs> um, you know, I, you know, maybe Sandy Shore, but to be honest, yeah, I'm going to take the money. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> it's, not, like that. it's not It's not bad. No, it's I'll, not. I'll I'm, take £75,000. <laughs> I'm almost glad that I don't have an inkling because I might have been more tempted. Did your mother get at you? before you came back. <laughs> I bet she did. She did have a word in my ear. <laughs> if you don't know it, don't even think. She did, but I, I really haven't got a clue. So, I am going to take the money. Are you? Final answer, please. Okay, give her a big hand. <laughs> now, here you are, you can take it now. Thank you. Um, just supposing, you know, it had been at <laughs> 500 quid, what, what would you have done? I probably would have gone Sandy Shore. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd said that, you'd have just lost 25 <laughs> The right answer is the West. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, give her a big hand. She's a great girl. She goes away. <laughs> 75, yeah, 75. That's a lucky family. Thank you very much.